In this video, I'll be discussing three new Roblox games that are releasing in September. First up, we have a classic high fantasy MMORPG style game called Davis of Creation. This game has been in development for a while, but is finally releasing to the public on September 7th. This game will feature open world player versus player combat and even clan wars. For those players who prefer fighting challenging bosses and exploring dangerous dungeons, this game has that too. You can expect many large bosses and complex dungeons where you can obtain legendary loot. The game is also leading the way by bringing lots of traditional MMORPG features to Roblox such as large-scale trading, extensive crafting and harvesting mechanics, and more varied questing. This game is sure to be a big hit on release and will likely keep you busy all the way through the month and beyond with all its content. This next game is more of a traditional anime game and it's called Heroes Online 2. Some of you may remember the original game but a lot has changed since then. The game will feature questing that will take you all across the city, an honor system and unique puzzles and challenges. However, what sets this game aside from other grindy Roblox games is the Team Battles game mode. The owner of the game has stated that this mode will be almost 50% of the game and it will feature a ranked option with lots of cosmetics and even a battle pass. This Team Battle game mode will provide a much needed break from the monotony of leveling up your character and will give late game players a fun area to test their skills. To bring it all together, the game will also feature a variety of quirks with great animations and effects. The owner has also promised to release quirks regularly after release to help keep the game interesting. However, unlike Davis of Creation, this game will cost 400 Robux to play, as it is in open alpha testing. If you don't have any Robux, you can also wait for the eventual free release too, but be warned that may take until 2025. This next game is a bit of a wild card. Both AGZ and Sage C released videos on the Sorta Online game called Elfheim Online recently, and while it is due for a September release, its quality is undetermined. There's no denying things like the map look beautiful and the gameplay we have seen seems promising, but both AGZ and Sage commented on how the game didn't feel ready. Many other people share this sentiment in the comments of those videos and in the Discord server of the game as well. However, one argument to potentially counter this is that the game does have quite a large dev team, consisting of over 10 developers and both a head developer and a lead developer too. With a team of this size, fine tuning the game and adding content could be done at quite a fast speed. That being said, the main evidence we have for a September release is a statement made by the game's owner which says that even if the game is not finished, they will still release it before the end of summer. Many have taken this to mean September, including prominent people in the Discord server. While YouTubers like AGZ have speculated that the game will likely be delayed further, we will have to wait and see how the situation unfolds. The game will feature many magic types, including classics like fire magic, wind magic, and beast magic, and many others. The game will also feature a flying mechanic to aid in exploration and ocean travel via ships. In traditional MMORPG fashion, you will also be able to pick a class from a variety of options like Swordsman, Paladin, and Pugilist. Overall, the game looks promising and is visually great, but I do have my suspicions about the claim of a September release. It just doesn't feel polished, and even in a lot of testing videos, it is obvious there are some pretty serious glitches and bugs. Comparing this to a game like Davis of Creation makes it look even more unpolished. The devs could make the changes necessary, but right now, I think the game would actually benefit from being delayed another three to five months to give the developers time to work on the game. They could still go ahead with a release, but I just think it should be a closed release and not an open release in September. To recap, the three games covered here today, we have Davis of Creation, a true high fantasy MMORPG style game, which will bring a lot of core themes from that genre to Roblox in an interesting way that is rarely done at this quality and depth. Heroes Online 2, a My Hero Academia game, it will feature both the more usual open world questing progression and a lot of interesting game modes. Overall, culminating in a promising Roblox anime game that doesn't deviate too far from the norm of other anime games on the platform. And then finally, a Sword Art Online game with beautiful map design, a testing phase that has left a lot to be desired. This game might have a qualified developer team, but even so, it may benefit from being delayed and may very well not make its predicted September release date. But just to emphasize, the game does look promising. The developer team are clearly talented, the maps look beautiful, and I think if they could just give their game a bit more time to grow, then I think it will be great on release. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts on which of these games you'll be playing in the month September. Take care guys and have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.